in this video we are in the historic town square in Carrollton and today we're going to be comparing Carrollton to Capel. So we're going to take a look at some neighborhoods, we're going to take a look at some shopping, and we're most definitely going to take in some green space and nature. So let's go! Hey, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome, glad to meet you. My name is Wendy Pinnell. I am a local real estate broker here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. And you know, like I said today, we are going to dig into this comparison of Carrollton to Capel. We're going to see that they have a lot in common. Okay. For example, they both are mostly have older homes. Okay. You're not going to really find like this massive amount of new construction, you know, that you would find in exurbs, you know, to the north and south of us. You're not going to really find that in either of these. You're going to find, you know, that the commute time is roughly 25 minutes to downtown Dallas for both of them. You know, they both got their fair share of parks and trails, okay? But I tell you what, there are some pretty significant differences and I'm going to tell you five ways that they are different from one another. So five ways different, Carrollton and Compel, but tell you what, first off, let me give you just a little bit of basic info. Carrollton population, about about 145,000, okay? Capel population, 40,000, okay, so big difference already right there. Carrollton is about 36 square miles, whereas Capel, 14 square miles there. So let's talk about those, let's put those together and let's talk about population density, because I think that is just really important in terms of the feel of a suburb, okay? So Carrollton's population density is right around 4,000. So we're talking right around 4,000 per square mile, whereas in Capel, we're talking more like 2,800 per square mile. So, you know, population density says so much about how the town feels, and we're gonna see, you know, that in this case, between Capel and Carrollton, Capel is gonna feel less crowded. Okay, so enough of that though, enough of that basic information. Let's get on to our first comparison. Let's talk about comparison number one, which is schools. Okay, let's dig right in because I know that topic super important to a lot of you. Okay, so schools. Niche.com, you know our first place to drop over is niche.com. Niche.com gave Carrollton an A. It gave Capel an A plus, okay? So that overview wise is great, but let's dig a little deeper. Let's go on over to greatschools.org and we're gonna see that Carrollton, in Carrollton, 11 out of 25 of those schools score above average. So that tells you about 44% of the city's schools score above average. Now, let's take that over there. Let's talk about Capel. In Capel, 12 out of 14 schools score above average. So 86% of schools in Capel score above average or higher. Okay, circling back around to niche.com, when it comes to suburbs with the best rated schools in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, Capel came in second place. So you see there, there's a huge difference academically if schools are important to you. You know, schools are not the important, not the only important thing to consider and really may not matter to you at all. But at any rate, that's comparison number one. Definitely academically, Capel comes out on top. Let's talk about comparison number two, okay? Let's talk about the cost of living and affordability between Carrollton and Capel. Okay, so for this, let's look at bestplaces.net, and they're gonna tell you that the Carrollton cost of living is 16% less than Capel. Okay, we're gonna see that groceries are 3.8% lower, okay? Property taxes actually in Carrollton are less as well. They have like a 2.2% property tax rate, whereas Capel has a 2.7% property tax rate and those factors definitely are, are, are part of it but the biggest factor is housing okay between the two housing in Carrollton get this 27 percent lower okay than what you're gonna find in Capel so while we're on that topic let's go ahead and let's talk about housing let's dig into that a little bit median sales price listen to this I think this is gonna blow you away okay median sales price in Carrollton in the past 90 days was 430,000 in Capel, it was 607,000. <laughs> okay, so that right there speaks volumes, right? Median price per square foot. 
in Carrollton, $217 and Capel, $244. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna show you a couple homes in these two suburbs, cause you know, you're getting the idea now that one is way more expensive than the other, but what's the look? What's the feel? Okay, so in Carrollton, let's check out the Ridgecrest 2 subdivision. And I can tell you right now, homes here are selling at about $210 per square foot. Your average sales price is $383,000. Now, one of the best things about this suburb is it's easy access to George W. Bush. So talk about shortening that commute time, right? It's also walking distance to Newman Smith High School. Okay, so really neat subdivision here. Uh, specific home for sale listed 589,000. Has about 2,236 square foot, four bedroom, three bath, four car garage, built in 1969. So, you know, we talked about how the, both of these suburbs are gonna have kind of those older homes. And this one definitely qualifies in that way, but it's completely remodeled has quartz countertops, an oversized shower with dual shower heads. Loved the luxury vinyl plank in this one. The flooring was absolutely stunning. Okay, so that kind of gives you an idea there of Carrollton. Let's pop over to Capel and check out the Vistas of Capel subdivision. Homes here are selling on average $216 a square foot. Your average sales price, 484,000. Now this one is a real beautiful, backs up to the beautiful Denton Creek, has super easy access to Highway 121. So just a very much a very beautifully, visually appealing suburb with quick access to the highway. Uh, the specific home listed for 550,000. It's right around 2,500 square foot. It's a four bedroom, three bath, two car garage built in 1997, so a little bit newer than the one we saw in Carrollton. Has granite countertops, stainless steel appliances. It's in good condition, but it wasn't like hugely updated. So it was well maintained, but it's not like bells and whistles or anything like that. So that kind of gives you good idea of the comparison in terms of housing and cost of living. Tell you what, let's jump on into our third comparison. We're gonna talk about crime, okay? Let's talk about crime. According to Area Vibes, Carrollton got a C minus and Capel got an A. Now I looked it up a little bit deeper, just wanted to make sure niche and crimegrade.org also gave Carrollton a C plus. So that's three different sources all saying that Carrollton has that C plus. However, it's just always good to dig in as deep as you can. And I went to niche, you know what? There are tons of reviews of people that have grown up in Carrollton and they say they love it. They say they never felt like they weren't safe. They said it was a super connected, uh, supportive community. So anyway, so we've got the numbers on one side, given, you know, Carrollton not the best of ratings. If you read that, you know, personal reviews, Carrollton really has a shining reputation from the people that live there. All right, well, let's jump into comparison number four. Let's talk about transportation. Okay, what you need to know about transportation is that Carrollton has public transportation and Capel doesn't. <laughs> All right, Carrollton also has fantastic highway access, east, west, north, south, weaving through the city. You can jump on the highway and get there in Carrollton. And they've also got the public transportation. Now, Capel, on the other hand, it does have highways, but they surround it. It doesn't have any going through it, like nothing north, south, east, west, but surrounding it. Um, but you know what, really, as much as Carrollton has that great highway access, traffic really can be a problem with it. It can be problematic, and that partly has to do with that central location. So really in Carrollton, you might find that that public transportation is a huge relief. So anyway, those are the comparisons there on transportation. Let's jump into our fifth comparison. Let's talk about shopping and dining. And I can tell you right now, neither of these suburbs are what you would call a shopping hub, <laughs> but overall, Carrollton's gonna be the clear winner here. Okay, Carrollton has, it's a beautiful historic town square, okay? It's got boutiques and eateries and, oh my goodness, I just love it there. You get out there and you hang out for the day, right? All these cute little shops and restaurants. Uh, Carrollton also has like various strip malls for shopping. It has lots of restaurants and, you know, one common feedback you'll get on Carrollton is it has, you know, on these restaurants and these shops and these grocery stores, tons of ethnic diversity. Okay, so no matter what kind of food you're in the mood for, you're gonna find, you know, Greek, Mediterranean, Mexican, whatever, you're gonna find it in Carrollton, right? So that's a real, 
top selling point for Carrollton. People love all that diversity. Anyway, wrapping it up, we've got our five comparisons. We see that Capel has lower crime, has better rated schools, and it has overall like a less crowded feel. Carrollton, lower cost of living, including much more affordable housing, has access to public transportation. So if that's important to you, real plus for Carrollton. It also has great highway access and it's got more restaurants and entertainment. A big part of that, which is the multiple different kind of ethnicities on food that you can find and shopping in stores. Uh, so anyway, so you have pretty different there, right? I promised you different and I delivered, right? Five different ways they're different. So tell me, was this video helpful? I sure hope it was. If it was, the next best thing you can do is hop on over to my channel. We're gonna find a ton more videos just like it. We do lots of these comparison tours. We do a lot of vlog tours. We talk about schools. We talk about new construction. We do model home tours. Pretty much we are your one-stop shop, okay? If you wanna learn about Dallas-Fort Worth, you've come to the right channel. So get on over there and take a look around, right? In the meantime, listen, if you're moving, head on down to the description section. Take a look around there. We've got a lot of great information there. We've also got our Let's Find Home questionnaire to help you get settled. You fill that out and then we can really hit the road on your behalf and help you find the perfect home. In the meantime though, listen, thank you so very, very much for joining me today and have a great day.